my jumper T8SG arrived from Banggood on the 12th of December and I've been having a lot of fun using it ever since. I've been using Hubson X4 and uh, Ishin E11 and the JGR equivalent uh, for quite a while. I've also used Simulator and I've had no problem at all with the USB port under either Linux or uh, under Windows XP um, until yesterday when I noticed that the the connector inside the jumper was getting looser it could go up and down almost as if it was hinged and I thought well I'm not sure this is good for it so I tried to minimize it but this morning it just wouldn't connect at all either under XP or under uh, Linux Mint uh, 17.3 which I use on my modern computer so took the back off it to have a look to see if I could figure anything out Particularly this business of it seeming to be hinged, not ha having come completely adrift, and also if I could see any evidence of broken wires. Uh, so it's mounted on a on a separate circuit board that's uh, sitting above the motherboard. Um, I can see a bit of circuitry on one side. As you can see, it uh, it's got a fair amount of flex in it, but it is anchored on the front. So if I push it down now, it tries to bounce back up. Um, So it's clearly not, not good. So here's a view from the top. And this next view is from front on where you see the sort of hinge-like arrangement. I'm kind of surprised I can't see clear evidence of the wire, the USB's wires um, soldered on. Uh, clearly they are, but quite what that hinge on the front's all about, um, I just don't understand. So here's some still shots to give a little bit more detail of, of what I found when I uh, took it off. As I say, I can see where the circuits board runs into some wires. And to finish off with, this is how it was performing the day before when I had it uh, attached to the XP machine. I was happily writing a new image to the jumper um, to help um, check out the new protocol for the MJX Bug 3. So suddenly I can't help with that endeavor anymore. And also, as we're coming up rapidly to Chinese New Year, the 16th of uh, February, uh, it's going to be a bit of a pause from the Banggood end. So if I can possibly repair it, rather than uh, seek redress under warranty, that's the way I prefer to go. So if anybody out there's got any ideas, and I've put this off in forums, I'm all ears. So I hope no one else is running into issues like this, because it's been a fantastic transmitter up until this point. In fact, even with the broken USB port, um, I can still uh, carry on and use it as a transmitter.